Hi, I'm Pastor Jeremy. Thank you for letting me share a little bit about my spiritual journey as we talk about the struggles along the, the pathway. You know, when I was 18, a verse that made a huge impact on my life was Hebrews 6.19. A, the author writes that we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure, and that hope's in Christ. You know, and it was that time in my life where I lost my purpose and lost my way a little bit. Although my hope was in Christ, I, I was lost. The, the plan that I thought God had for my life turned a different direction. I lost hope a little bit. The beauty was he never let me go, but even in my immaturity, though, I kind of thought, okay, well, I can do things I want. I don't have to do all the things God wants me to do anymore. And that thinking really clouded my vision and gave some big struggles on this journey. You know, as I fell to sin and made some mistakes, you know, what, what I didn't realize was that anchor line that was holding me to Jesus kept going out a little further. So the waves got a little bigger, the storms of life got a little harder, the wind blew a little harder, and I felt it a whole lot more. You know, it was over these few months of, of juggling, do I, do I live for the world or do I live for God? And I started crying out and asking for help because I just felt so alone. My Christian friends kind of had walked away as well, and so I didn't know where to turn. You know, I know my parents were praying for me, and my mom had uh, multiple prayer groups in the church praying. As we all cried out, and I said, God, I need help. I need you. I need strength. I need courage. He answered. You know, and my old high school pastor got me a job, which literally picked me up and moved me from California all the way to Florida for a while. And what I learned was, was I needed to rely on my faith in Christ alone. I didn't need to choose the world. I needed to choose Jesus each and every day. And he was, who was going to give me strength. He was going to give me courage. He was going to give me my hope back. And as I worked on the ship, we, we went through multiple struggles, huge construction issues. And I was just a lifeguard, so I shouldn't have been doing anything, but I did more than I should. Huge construction issues, though. We, we were falsely arrested and imprisoned. We, we made it through a hurricane. We also had a fire on board and lost steering. And all these things happened just so God could say, Jeremy, do you realize how much you need me? Do you realize how far that anchor line has got outward? Now you're feeling the storms of life, and you don't have to. It was in those moments where he pulled me back in. He reestablished my hope to be firm and secure in Christ. And it changed my life for the better. But those internal struggles, those lies that Satan throws at you, the lies the world throws at you, didn't stop. But that anchor line became more and more secure. You know, and you see over the years how even those times where I thought I was alone, Christ was there. He'd already done all the work to save me. He's already done everything. He says, you just need to fix your eyes to me. And when I do, that anchor line becomes firm and secure. So hopefully some of the struggles I shared with you today can give you some hope and encouragement along this pathway that you're on as well. Thanks.